It's finally fight week. Canelo versus Avni Yildra. Make sure to stay locked here at Fino Boxing. Don't forget to subscribe for the complete coverage. Prospect Keyshawn Davis, you finally get to make your pro debut. How does it feel more than anything being part of the Canelo undercar, making your debut on the zone I'm at room? Just overall, how do you assess it? Um, it's really like a dream come true. Uh, I feel like a pro debut, at least for me, couldn't get no better than this. Coming off in of amateurs, um, and then being that it's the day before my birthday, it, can, it can't get no better than this. I'm ready to perform. Now, for, what do you want to bring to the fight fans? Knowing there's going to be millions of people watching at home, probably a sold-out stadium with obviously social distancing, but what do you want to show fight fans more than anything? I just want to show the fight fans that I'm bigger than a six-round fighter, even going into my debut. I want to show the fight fans that, okay, even on his debut, we're going to see him a lot more, but not only a lot more. We're going to see him get better. But I feel like the performance I'm going to give, they probably going to look at me like I'm already ready. Understand what I'm saying? And that's what I want to give the fight fans. And I feel like I'm going to do that. Now, what was the final decision that you wanted to join in here in the matchroom? I would imagine there had to be other offers from Top Rag, man, whether promotions, PBC, Golden Boy. What was the reason behind signing with it here? Well, that's the great part about it, man. Um, I'm still independent. And I got the opportunity to be independent and get on a big card like this. And um, I'm still trying to make my decision. But um, like I said, y'all going to see me a lot more in this year and most likely independently. Okay, Sean, how quickly do you want to go ahead and move? Obviously, you had a highly regarded amateur career. Do you see yourself kind of going like the Lomachenko route, fight for a world title possibly within less than 10 fights? Um, honestly, I'm still kind of debating on that. It's really the ball is in my park, whether I want to take it slow and fight six rounds for the rest of this year or... I want to take it fast and go eight rounds my next fight and then maybe the 10 round in my third fight. So if the ball is really in my park, um, I've been ready for professionals and I'm here now and then we just going to, after this first fight, we just going to assess and we're going to go from there. Now you say this is an independent fight, so this is just a five, one fight contract with Matchroom and the zone. Yes, I mean, yeah, you could say a one fight contract, yeah. Now, obviously you fight on the Canelo on the car, you know, all the eyes are going to be in you as well. What do you want to see from Canelo? What he been, what he been given. Understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't really care about no knockout. Like his boxing is boxing. Like I just want to see him go in there and fight great and to his best ability. And uh, that's all I want to see from him. And I know he gonna give that because he give that every single fight. Understand what I'm saying? And um, I'm just excited to see him fight. Honestly. Uh, you have all the skills in the world, but can you take anything away from what Canelo brings to the table? Um, I feel like I'm a mixture of Floyd Mayweather, Canelo Alvarez, and Javante Tank Davis. Uh, I watched all three of them a lot. Um, I actually seen Canelo. I was watching a previous fight when he was fight, fighting Sugar Shane Mosley, and I could see just the difference of him back then and now. Like, he uses a lot more defense now. And, um, and combinations, punches is still as great as it was before. Understand what I'm saying? So I take a lot from Canelo, especially with the head movement and the combination punches and um, stuff like that. Uh, do you see yourself also becoming that the guy in, in boxing and be considered the pound for pound at some point in your career? Yes, uh, I'm not in the boxing game just to fight and just to collect checks. Um, I want to make my name a household name. And um, not only that, I want to outdo Floyd Mayweather, honestly. I feel like he was the biggest, he was the best fighter in the, inside the ring. And I feel like I can outdo Floyd Mayweather. And, and if I get the opportunity to, I'm going to take the opportunity. Now, also, Mark Castro is going to be part of this, this telecast. Obviously, you fought him in the amateurs. Do you think you want to get that one more crack at a pro level and I'll actually defeat him? Um, honestly, I mean, I'm not really too worried about Mark Castro and fighting him right now because he's at 126. I'm at 135, uh, just too far off in weight classes. And, um, and amateurs, is, everything in amateurs is a learning experience. Uh, we fought at 17 years old, you know, when we was kids. We both 22 now. Like, all that stuff doesn't really matter. But I would love to fight Mark Castro in, in the near future because I do feel like it could be like an Oscar De La Hoya versus a Floyd Mayweather. I think it'd be a, a great fight that everybody will want to tune into. It's gonna be a don't miss fight, and in the near future, I think we could make that happen. Now, being at the lightweight division is one of those most stacked divisions in boxing. Obviously, you have Teofimo Lopez, who you know very well, Ryan Garcia, Tank. You know, how quickly do you want to get those matches, and do you see yourself fighting all those guys at 135? Um, honestly, them guys don't even know who they want to fight yet. Uh, I don't want to throw myself in the mix and be in all that confusion right now. I just, I'm just sitting back watching to to see what, how things are going to start sorting out. Understand what I'm saying? And um, It's funny how they say Tank is at 135 when both his world championships was at 130. Understand what I'm saying? Pedraza and the one he just won now. Understand what I'm saying? So it, it's just a lot of confusion with that right now. But um, the person I am shooting for right now is Roley. 
He's at 135 right now. He got the intern belt, and I want to take that belt from him before somebody else does. Do you have a message for Roly Romero? Roly, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming for you. If you, I'm coming for you, and we'll probably fight sometime the end of this year or next year, if you're willing to fight. You think he'll take that challenge? Um, it's up to him and his promoter and whoever is running his crew. But uh, you know, I'm independent, and like I said, it's up to me how fast I want to move. I understand what I'm saying. I can see myself fighting him the end of this year or next year. Well, Keyshawn, thank you so much for the time. We wish you an early birthday present. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Appreciate it, man.